This is Rich Baum with Rich Baum Photography, Sacramento, California. I thought I would do a, just another luminosity mask tutorial so you can get it down. And then uh, I'll uh, try and figure out. You guys can always send me requests on other things. So anyway, um, and please add your, add your nice words because it helps me to take the time to do this. I have a pretty nice shot here, a little one-dimensional. It lacks three dimensions. Uh, it sh looks like the lighting is coming from camera because it is coming from camera. But we want to make the light look like it's coming from these nice windows. We also have a ceiling fan shadow, which I can fix with this. And uh, just little, 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 very subtle things we can fix. Here's an ambient shot, which will give me the shadows I want. But the ambient shot certainly doesn't look great. Um, so I'm going to have the best of both worlds. This is a little window bloom, which I don't think I have another exposure for it. So it is what it is. And I'm not, I didn't really see it earlier. So anyway, basically, as we did in the past, I'm going to highlight both these images. We're going to edit in as layers in Photoshop. Okay. I'm going to open this up. Sip of coffee. Okay, so I've got my ambient layer on top, which is what I want. I am going to go to add a layer mask, and I'm going to hold down the Option key on a Mac, the Alt key on a PC. That brings the lit shot up. Okay, on top, you've got your mask there. We're set to white here so we can paint it in. I'm going to use a brush. I'm going to do... Um, I'm going to do 6% flow. Normally I use 3, but I want to have you see it better. Um, the other thing, too, is it needs to be a soft brush. And I go with uh, zero hardness. So it's nice and easy. So let's just start with this shadow. Oh, and the other thing I want to do, I'm sorry, I forgot the whole point of this video, is to do luminosity mask down there. So instead of normal, do luminosity. So it's only going to pick up the exposure and the lighting, it's not going to pick up the colors of the ambient shot. Okay, so I'm just going to paint out this ceiling fan shadow. Okay. And I'm going to bring in some shadows for the bed. There we go. And again, this is all very subtle. But for many of you, I know we get to the point where we want to step it up and we want our pictures to we realize that we want to get to a different level. And I don't think that this is too much to ask. I do this to almost every shot for real estate, no problem. Because I'm going to show you later, I'm putting a little bit of shadow on this wall. Look, you're getting a little bit of shadow from the bathroom in here. Okay, then I'm going to go in a little bit. I'm going to get rid of this shadow here. These are real little things, but it's important to me. Okay, now I want to do this chair. Okay, so I'm going to make this kind of bigger. Okay, so you're getting a nice little shadow there. Now this is a very subtle one, but it's very important to me. It's going to go a little bit of sunlight coming in that window. Okay, nice, huh? Okay, I got a little bit here. Okay, I'm going to do this wall right here. A little bit of ambient. I'm going to lighten this up a little bit. Nice soft light in the bathroom. See, I'm taking a little extra time with this house, this house because I really liked it. I thought it was really cool. And uh, I'm just going to go a little bit of, I think some right here. Oh, here, let me zoom out a little bit. And get this plant a little bit. Okay. So here you go. That's pretty much it. That's what I'm going to turn off. Here's the original. And I certainly think it's worth doing.
your client may never see it on a real estate shoot and you definitely probably won't see it in MLS but for this they actually hired me because they weren't happy with the other pictures I saw the other pictures and they weren't very good HDR and the owner made them they looked at all the pictures and said we are like this guy's pictures so I got a job from that anyway so I'm going to do what I'm doing in these tutorials now I'm going to um, do a stopwatch so I'm going to close that out and I'm going to do a stopwatch here we go ready set go real time okay and then Lair's Photoshop okay I have an SSD on my hard drive which really helps okay stopwatch is running pressure's on again very subtle stuff man we're not talking brain surgery we're not talking um, you know major changes oh shoot I forgot to do luminosity mask ah crap okay there we go okay so that luminosity mask is important for the wall because the ambient wall is very different color than... and you could actually have masked in the um, lit shot as opposed to masking in the ambient it's just whatever you like doing let me open this up a little bit one more right there okay got the shadows coming in okay check it one two three and it's done uh, one minute and 30 seconds exactly so that's fine with me anyway here's the uh, before and after shot again it's subtle but it's what I do and um, you know take it or leave it so leave your feedback let me know if you like these tutorials um, they're not that hard to make they're not great high prefer high production value but I think they'll help you so Rich Baum Rich Brown Photography, signing off. Have a great weekend, everybody.